today I will be helping you to create a Sankey chart with the help of PE and EB visual which is available in Microsoft uh, App Store which is a custom visual which is approved also by a Microsoft um, certified visual so this can be used across the reports for custom visualization though with the help of PE and EB visuals we can create a number of visuals and different format way and different visualization pattern here we are creating a Sankey chart which shows the customer diversification across different segments this Sankey chart was taken reference from one of the person who is called David he has created this chart for uh, uh, a static uh, financial report where he shows um, the profits and the gross profits every time everything so it was taken from uh, the reference from that particular uh, file and i'll also pin that particular uh, file for your reference coming to this particular file visual we are creating this visual with the help of two data sets and a json code so coming to the data set we require two data sets which is a main data set which will have uh, all the values and details of this particular visual and also a category table which will have how the connections between this uh, source to this destination needs to be formed so coming to the data i'll clearly explain how how this data set helps us to uh, create the data set uh, data set uh, helps us in column wise uh, for creating that particular visual so if we see here in this uh, table we have category stack sort gap labels source destination and value i'll explain you why this uh, how this will be helpful so categories can be of your own uh, requirement based on uh, whatever the report that we are you are building so coming to the categories we here i have mentioned all the type of uh, segmentations that i have if you could see in the stack one we are having total customers sales service parts all parts sub and you can see the seg the uh, diversification of customers between two categories those things are uh, being mentioned here stacks are nothing but if you see that you know in the visual there are three different stacks first would be the total customer then the diversification of that particular total customers is the second stack and the third would be the the diversification between the other uh, second stack and the sort would be how many sorts are sort sort would be the sorting between the particular sta uh, sta uh, stack so that number is mentioned here the gap is between each and every stack what is the gap labels you can ignore it uh, and the source is source and destination is that how uh, the values needs to be defined if you see how the values are defined if you see the sum of uh, the values in the total customers it is uh, taking from the sales service and parts b2b uh, and uh, and the total customer is showing the sum of all these things that's how this source and destination helps in valuing the uh, values uh, showcasing in that visual so this is the data set uh, value uh, the columns that we have which will be useful this can be changed according to your requirement and also here if you see this value is a column i have changed it to value one where in be any visuals uh, the column values are not referred properly so i have tried using value creating the same uh, measure with name value and uh, i have summed up the values column so that uh, it uh, the measure uh, instead of a column the measure could be worked for my situation so you can also try the same way and the second data set is category where in this data set mainly is required for forming the the waves between the in the source to destination in the Sankey chart so the same way where we have defined in the data set that source and the destination category in the same way here we are defining source and destination the same way how the formation of that uh, uh, stack should be uh, created and here values are not much uh, important you can ignore this and sort will be a very important thing how the sorting is happening between this particular source and destination so this is the data set uh, uh, 
how we have uh, created to make that visual coming to the visual so if you see this is the visual that uh, we are able to see the partitions and all let me create this visual step by step so that you can also follow the same and coming to this we need a deneb visual which is this so if you want to download you can go to this get more visuals and you can search for deneb and this can be used this is a custom visual certified by microsoft once getting this visual this visual uh, cannot be uh, operated without adding a single measure or single column so for a cqc if you start editing it will not give anything it says that you need to add at least one column or measure to create to start functioning in this particular visual so i'll add one column later on i'll help you how to get all the other columns into the visual so once this uh, uh, screen is popped we will be selecting the vega and we will take the empty template because the visual is totally empty though here we have simple bar chart template and interactive bar chart template but we are building a totally different uh, visual so we will be taking an empty one once we click create we will get this uh, uh, screen where it shows to this uh, code for uh, uh, sc code screen and also other things where we will get the visual in this particular place where we can create the code and check uh, by run uh, on the time so if you see this is the code that we will delete and we need a code that we have particularly created for this uh, dashboard so this is a json code if you see in this um, this code this total code was taken from uh, the source which i have mentioned earlier it was the same here and there we have made some changes though in that uh, visual there was uh, uh, values going to the right side and also the left side but we have only to the right side uh, the values are flowing to the right side so just a minor changes were made to this code or uh, else everything is same and here and there the naming width of the chart height of the chart is uh, uh, modified so the main part would be this particular thing where the data this is the data where everything is been referred and uh, no, the visual is built upon so let's talk first about this name data set this is the one of uh, the data set that we have in our power bi dashboard here we are just mentioning the data set unless we are not giving any values so here power bi direct in this json code it helps directly to go and check the values that we are uh, placed in the values section in the visual visual section in that uh, dna be visual so once after mentioning this data set if you see in below it is mentioning uh, it has uh, it we have mentioned the functionalities where it takes from the data set where, where expressions are used like datum source expression is used from source destination so we all have the columns called source and destination so that values are been fetched here you can see wherever we can see source and destination so th those fields have been taken from that particular data set so this is how uh, it is taken and coming to the category that we have mentioned if you see here not only the data set name we have also mentioned the values values section here is also been mentioned because the category label columns are not taken into the visual but we are mentioning outside of the uh, table uh, outside of the visual but also we are uh, referring those values so if you see here we have mentioned each and every values you can see the same uh, the total customer sales which were uh, there in the main data set table those values are mentioned here category wise and what which stack and which so uh, what type of sorting is required that is mentioned gap is like with the gap between each label to other label and the label right side is the the um, the label should be to the right side of the uh, um, right side of the stack uh, stack or that particular uh, par which is been developed so this is this is the code that we will be using so let me take this code and go to power bi once we paste the code here and as i mentioned in the name data set just data set is been referred here so we have to take all the data sets that are mentioned in this particular table so 
I am taking the destination gap labels sort source tag and values as you as I mentioned I am using the measure instead of the column so here if you see in values I will be changing them to don't summarize most of them are, are the same but couple of things which are numerical they have changed it to summaries okay now once we do this we just need to run the code once this kind of pop-up comes where we are doing a manual uh, field mapping so you can ignore this by clicking you know close so if you see how our uh, visual has been created and if you see that there are two visuals which are going offset this could be a reason where the naming convention if it is not same there could be a chance this kind of issues may uh, occur if you see here sales and parts sub is the issue which we are facing so if we go to sales and uh, parts sub here if you see there is uh, there is no space but if you see there is i think there is space between these two values let me remove that we can ignore this pop up see if you see that the naming convention is also very very important and also there is one more thing which is called parts sub and sales parts sub and sales let's go there parts sub and sales and here if you see okay there is a space between parts sub and sales so that could be one thing and let me run that ignore this yes if you see now all the values are within the stack so if you see the values are being overrided by each other so let's do one thing let me change the height of the visual so that the visual the values are not overrated okay now if you see the values are properly aligned so this is how our chart is been created so this chart is dynamical this uh, if this values though in this particular of uh, uh, data set in the power bi report i am not using any calendar date connected if you are creating any calculator table separately and if this measure is coming uh, from a different table which is connected to the calendar tables then it can be filtered based on the date table also the date table also filters based on this and also you can add uh, filters like within the source let me do that if you see source destination and let us change it to uh, the slicer and if you see just check the total customers you can see only the total customers and the segmentation is there and if you want to see for a particular part you can just select that particular part or you can okay i think parts all this doesn't have any values so okay total custom is removed so if you select also the total i think multi selection will help here we can see the dynam dynamically we can adjust our filters based on our requirement we can do this with also this also being uh, helped with calendar table then also you know there can be a dynamic changes in the values if that measure is connected as mentioned earlier so yeah this is how we can create a sanctuary chart in power bi uh, and also if you want to do any other modifications uh, with the values or the colors you can uh, just do some modifications in the json code that will help to change the requirement based on yours so i, I like uh, i would uh, uh, if there is any additions i would uh, add them in my further uh, videos that any other uh, dynamic functions if added to this particular uh, dynamic visual i will add them uh, and uh, update you yeah thank you so much guys if you like this video please hit the like button thank you thank you very much